to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for coming. First thing on the agenda is approval of the minutes of the last meeting. Do I have a motion for the first minute? Make a motion to approve the minutes from the executive session from December 1st. Second. A motion and a second. Walters? Aye. 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 Motion's been passed, five to zero. Thank you. Second motion. Do I have a for the second? Mr. Pres minutes? Mr. President, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the December 1st council meeting. A second. I have a motion and a second. Jenny, can you please call the roll? Aye. David Winters. Aye. Tom Pato. The motion's been passed, five to zero. Thank you very much. Next on the agenda is public comment. Mark? I've had no request to speak tonight. Okay. <clears throat> public meeting. First on the public meeting, we have badge pinning by the fire department fire chief. But before we have that, our... Uh, then come on up. Huh? Then come on up. Come on up. You'd like him up here first. Are you going to get out there and stay where you're at? I'm going to sit right here. Okay. Should they be scared of you? <laughs> Guys are young. <laughs> that way to the council. Okay, before we start, our fire commissioner would like to say something. You ready? For over 150 years, people of Danville have been able to call us in their homes in time of need. Honor that tradition. You're automatically given trust based on the badges you have earned and are about to wear, but that doesn't end today. You must earn that trust every day. Children, children will look at you like superheroes and parents will treat you like a trusted family member. When Danville Fire Department knocks, <clears throat> people open their doors to their homes. They do this with total confidence because they know the professionals are here to help. Public safety is a top priority for the town of Danville. We are excited to have these new firefighters as part of our Danville community and wish they may long, safe, and all successful careers. They will meet members of our community on their worst day, but I know they will be professional, compassionate, and provide the best care possible and keep our residents and businesses as safe as possible. Oh, wow, that was very good. There'll be two names on the back of your fire department. One being your last name, being Danville Fire
First pinning will be Trevor Bolton. And uh, who do you have pinning you? Okay. <laughs> Cameron Chapman and his family members. Yeah, maybe you guys got to get working on those halls over there. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. Yeah. 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 Alex Mahan.
this is hard to say, Lieutenant Matt Templeton. Lieutenant James Cravens. Real quick, if we can get a group photo of all the firefighters uh, up front here, please. Well, that would be you guys on the back, too. <laughs> and uh, the commissioner and the town manager, please. I'd like to thank the council for allowing us to uh, present their badges tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. I'd like to say congratulations to all of you and look forward to a great career. Thank you. All right. Next on the agenda is B, bid opening for Mill and Phil for Community Crossing Grant, Public Works Superintendent. Good evening. I'm bringing to you tonight uh, two bids that we received after putting out an RFP for Mill and Overlay due to the uh, or for the Community Crossing 2021-2. Uh, we received one bid from Wreath Riley and one bid from Midwest Paving. I'll open the Wreath Riley first. Bid. 
um, sheet for you. I'm sorry. Never got to mention these bids are for Broadway Street from Washington down to DPW and then 200 East from US 36 to Main Street. Those were the ones that we were awarded last community crossing. So for Wreath Riley, we have a total of And for Midwest paving, we have a total of $276,853. I did make a request to Mr. Morgan that we be allowed to take these back and review them just to verify that everything's there. Um, and then come back probably the next council meeting to award the bid. Um, and then after this, at this point, we'll be able to encumber the money for the spring to be able to get this project done. Um, I did put in the project that it would be deadline of the first week in April. So we'll All be right. working on that. This requires a general consensus. Yeah. Everybody consensus. in favor? Okay, go Thank for you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number C, or C, Ordinance 34-2021. <laughs> Additional appropriations, clerk, treasurer. I presented you this evening with a list of expenses that are part of the additional appropriation ordinance 2021. This evening is the um, public hearing introduction and then I request that you goals and approve. So, Mr. President, uh, first thing, order of business was this, that was uh, considered the um, introduction. So, next you'll need to go to public comments. Uh, yeah, Gavel open, yeah, we'll open a public sorry. hearing. Sorry, can't hear. That's all right, sir. Public hearing. No comments. Hearing's closed. Back to the regular hearing. Thank you. Clerk Treasurer is requesting that the council uh, move to suspend the rules and approve this deal. I'll make a motion to suspend the rules. Second. <clears throat> we have a motion and a second. Very good. Thank you. Okay, role. Greg Van Leer. Aye. Nancy Levitt. Aye. Chris Gerald. Aye. David Winters. Aye. Tom Pato. Aye. Motion's been passed. Five to zero. Thank you. And I'll make a motion to pass ordinance 34 2021 additional appropriation. Second. A motion and a second. Please take the roll. Greg Van Leer. Aye. Nancy Levitt. Aye. Chris Gerald. Aye. David Winters. Aye. Tom Pato. Aye. Motion's been passed. Five to zero. Thank you.
F, Resolution 30, 2021, Holiday Resolutions. Clerk Treasurer, please. This is um, the holiday resolution for the 2022 holidays. I had sent you guys an email on Friday discussing the possibility of um, doing what other communities have done and adding the Juneteenth. Is that am I pronouncing? Juneteenth. Yes. And um, with the possibility of taking away election days, if you would like, um, since there's so many ways to vote or early voting now and. When we started allowing for election days, the town hall was closed because this was one of the polling places. Of course, it's not anymore. Um, so if you would like to do away with election days, um, we talked about adding Columbus Day in the June as an additional holiday or adding them all or whatever you guys recommend. Um, what we can do is you can Tell me this evening if you would like to just um, approve as it is in the packet the, the holiday res resolution that was presented. You, of course, can do that. If you'd like to make any changes, you can just recommend to me how you would like those, and I can bring them back to the last council meeting with the new resolution prepared. Last council meeting. Of the so just so I'm clear, what you have in the packet has the election day as a holiday, yes, and it does not have Juneteenth and Columbus Day. Correct. Correct. I, we just went ahead and prepared it as it always sure. has been. Okay. And then with the direction. More comments? So I guess we need to decide if we're going to add one or both of those other holidays and remove the election date or just leave it as it is. Correct. Okay. But we don't have to decide tonight, right? Well, I would like a recommendation from you guys to so I can bring back the um, updated resolution for the last council meeting of this year. Because we do have to approve the 2022, 2022 holidays in 2021 before the end. So if we're going to change it, we need to make the Sorry. recommendation and not vote on this tonight. Correct. Okay. Or you can vote on that if you want to approve sure. it as it is. Right, right. Okay. Any thoughts? I like the election days being a holiday still, personally. I like it as it's written. I'd make a motion that we approve resolution 30-2021. have a second? Second. Penny, take the roll. Greg Van Leer? Aye. Nancy Levitt? Aye. Chris Gerald, aye. David Winters, aye. Tom Pato, aye. The motion's been passed five to zero. Thank you very much. Okay, G, resolution 31 2021. Execution of MDOT agreement. Superintendent would like present a resolution allow certain members of the council and staff to sign MDOT agreements. Good evening again. So on November 17th, I brought before you the award for the community crossing grant. And at that time, uh, I brought up the discussion of having certain individuals being able to sign. Uh, unfortunately, I actually overlooked a portion of the, uh, <coughs> the email that I had received that said that in order to do that, we actually have to bring forth a resolution. So that's where we're bringing forth this resolution tonight to uh, allow for the, the president of the council, the, the uh, liaison, Mr. Morgan and myself to sign in dot agreements for community crossing. Um, basically just to expedite the process when it actually comes in because we'll still be in for bids and uh, CERs for the actual payment of the, the process. Any comments? I'll make a motion to approve resolution 31. Second it. Motion and a second. 
Danny, could you take the roll, please? Greg Van Leer? Aye. Nancy Levitt? Aye. Chris Gerald? Aye. David Winters? Aye. Tom Pato? Aye. Motion has been passed 5 to 0. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, H, approval of 2022 meeting dates. Town manager will present a schedule. All purpose meeting dates 2022 will require a vote. As you may recall, we discussed uh, throughout the course of this year of trying to consolidate all of our meeting dates on to Wednesdays, uh, predominantly to help the staff uh, so that they would just have to come in late, you know, one day a week instead of Thursday here, Tuesday here, Monday here. I remember that. Um, we've talked with all the boards and commissions. They've all been in agreement that they are for this, this schedule. Um, so I'm looking for uh, council approval tonight to move forward with posting this. Um, apparently, uh, because I'm old and decrepit, uh, Will has come up with a much easier to read form that the public will have enjoy much more. Am I saying that correctly, Will? Thank you. And anyway, <laughs> but uh, this is the general gist. The one in your your that it was in your seat. Um, as you can see, that one has an error on it. it has December the tenth. Uh, the new one has December fourteenth. Uh, Tasha, our office manager, found my error. Uh, that's apparently the tenth is a Saturday. Um, I don't think I don't think Plan Commission wants to meet on a Saturday. Lisa, does that okay? Just checking. All right. So that's. Uh, the one with the 14th that I sat in front of you, that's the revised version. So I just need approval to move forward. Um, I've provided copies to the press. If you uh, approve this, this will serve as our notice that these are our meetings for next year. Okay, thank you. Conversation, a motion? I make a motion that we approve uh, the 2022 meeting dates. Second. Motion a second. Jenny, please call the roll. Greg Van Leer? Aye. Nancy Levitt? Aye. Chris Gerald? Aye. David Winters? Aye. Tom Pato? Aye. Motion has been passed 5 to 0. Thank you. Aye. Capital expenditure requests snow removal equipment. Hello. Um, if you remember back in July, I think I think it was July. I'm not really 100% sure. It's been a long time ago. It's gone really fast. Um, there's kind of some movement of personnel and to get more t personnel for public works to lighten their load of moving snow. We took over the town hall once I was fortunate enough to get an employee. Um, the code enforcement officer is going to assist in that, so we'll be able to take care of town hall. Uh, but we would prefer not to do that with a snow shovel. Um, so... What you have in front of you is basically an ATV uh, that has a V plow. Um, and this would have been brought to you sooner, but there are no ATVs anywhere. Um, the date that I got, and I'm trying to work on this, and I did get a second estimate if anybody's interested in that. Um, we went with uh, Edwards Equipment, local company. Um, so $8,400 of this came from a uh, insurance claim from the public works vehicle that was part of a fire. So that's why you see two different numbers. The other is coming out of a host property maintenance and repair. Um, there, there is sufficient funds. We've been pretty good this year with, with spending that line item. Um, but I talked to the clerk treasurer and Mr. Morgan about doing that now because the build date on this is 
February of 2023. So if one comes in earlier, that they will move us to the front of the line. But that's what's in front of you. That's what it's for. Oh, um, the police department will have access to this vehicle during their classes that they put on for the, the kiddos. Um, it'll be here at town hall at some point. Uh, we're we're going to try to put together a building to put some equipment in so that we can both share this vehicle. Um, so it'll be multi-use basically for everything at town hall. That's what it's for. Okay. So, Barry, this is a um, four-wheeler that's diesel? Yes. Any issues with that for cold weather I know because it like we will be able to plug it in. We do have receptacles outside. Um, it's basically the best way to go for reliability with the vehicle. Um, and it, 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 they, they told me this model was the best way to go. It will have emergency lighting on it. The one you see in front of you has that built in. The other estimate that I got did not. So, and it was in Crawfordsville. So I just thought. Um, I would put this number together in case, really, it's going to come down who can get us a vehicle first. Um, so I put this amount on here so we recovered either way. That was a, that was a point. Okay, do I have a motion? Make a motion to approve the uh, capital expense request for the snow removal equipment. Second. Motion and second, Jenny. Greg oh. Van Leer. Aye. Nancy Levitt. Aye. Chris Gerald. Aye. David Winters. Aye. Tom Pado. Aye. Motion's been passed five to zero. Thank you. So, but you're saying this year you have to use a shovel. Well, we, we <laughs> I will say we planned and we, we've got a, a motorized snowblower okay. that we're using from the parks department just in case. Now, I, I hope we don't get a blizzard, but now that I just said that, We'll get two or three, so we'll, we'll take any help that we can get, though. Just tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark. So, uh, department heads, um, we actually met off-site uh, Monday, uh, a little different setting. We had a white elephant gift exchange with the department heads. It was a uh, very enjoyable time put on by Will. Um, I've never been involved in one. It was extremely interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Uh, but I did receive reports from the department heads. Fire department had uh, is at 1,927 runs. They had 39 runs last week. They did an elevator training at Hendricks Regional. They've seen an increase in cardiac arrest and sick people. Uh, they did work a vehicular accident that involved two fatalities. Uh, they assisted other fire departments eight times. They had a working garage fire. And they'd like to thank Kristen Cooney for providing food for all three shifts. Stormwater Department, Hargrave Hall, uh, roof's been repaired, currently receiving estimates on a replacement. Uh, there, the A cell, D cell, and passing lanes on East Main Street uh, will be completed in the spring due to soil conditions and HMA av availability during winter months. Commerce Park drainage work will begin in January with storm repairs on Cook Street. Uh, Broadway, West Main, and Bostic Avenue. 586 permit applications so far in 2021, which has been a record year. And Kensington Section 3 is waiting on final water testing approval before permits can be released. <clears throat> May so, I ask a question, please? Yes, sir. So the work out on East Main, which is already dug, it's not going to be filled in until spring? No, the, the, the drainage pipe is already in. So we, we built it up to within six inches because that would be the paving depth. Okay. So when, when we ran that proof roll, it failed miserably. There wasn't enough time, ground's too wet. So we brought the stone all the way to the surface of the asphalt. So there will be cones there. It's drivable but not for heavy equipment. So the cones will be placed on the edge so to try, try to prevent people from driving and using that lane. But it's filled in. Yeah. So the cones will be there when the snow plows go by. Well, the, the cones are going to be off of the roadway. Does that make sense? Okay. Snow cones. <laughs> yes, thank you. If they, they're going to be pretty far off the road if they get the, the cones, but it, the whole thing's been filled in. Okay. 
It's just we're going to have to kind of dig it back out and then run it again because okay. the timing with the asphalt plants, we're, it, it, we're going to run it. If we dig it up, we're going to be in bigger trouble with water setting on it. Okay. okay. Thank you. So before I uh, give this report, I would like to introduce um, uh, our newest superintendent, uh, Tony Kirkpatrick, is the superintendent of the wastewater department. Congratulations, Tony. <laughs> North, Northwood Haven, Section 1A, final construction testing, working on finishing up monthly report of operations and submit to IDEM. He's been doing lift station checks, they backed out three lift stations before cold weather hit. Uh, running the belt filter press three days, copper sampling this week, and they cleaned two clarifiers uh, depending on the weather. Public Works wrote a book. The uh, Reader's Digest version. Do what? Reader's Digest version. Very much. We're working on it here. So um, he's working on spray patching. Uh, we'll continue through next spring. Uh, leaf collection concluded the, uh, the 8th. Uh, final leaf drop-off will be conducted, uh, was conducted on the, the 4th of December. Um, leaf collection re uh, remained on schedule. Uh, he'd like to set up a work study with the council uh, to discuss the results of his leaf pickup process for the year, which I think is a great idea. We can pick that up at a work study in January. Uh, handicapped parking signs have been installed at the library. Uh, DPW will be working to remove the old handicap markings. Uh, stop signs on Lincoln Street at Kentucky were removed. Additional signage indicating that the changes being installed were done on Monday the 13th. Uh, DPW installing stop bars in areas throughout town where pavement work has been conducted. Winter salt order has been fulfilled. Uh, 550 tons of salt uh, were used in 2020-2021 winter. It's been replaced. So he has a full supply for 2122. Uh, they responded to five fallen trees on December the 11th and removed the obstructions from the roadway. Sweeping will continue to clean remaining storm debris as the weather permits. Uh, Andy himself with his uh, uh, foreman have been working on ADA transition program, attending school board meeting uh, for the final approval of the uh, crosswalks. Uh, he attended an imp he and I both attended an IMPO <coughs> meeting today, and uh, he's being in the process for the 2022-1 Community Crossing Matching Grant, which opens January 1. Parks Department, uh, I don't even know how to take this. He's keeping Winterland alive. I don't know what that means, but um, working on templates for crosswalks, uh, ordering bollards, uh, contacting contractors for the football tower, uh, setting structure for the new awning going in, <coughs> Excuse me. adding heating element to gatehouse, and starting maintenance of all engine equipment. Uh, water department, uh, new water treatment plant site preparation. Uh, be working through the gazebo, the drinking fountain, the water tap, removal and relocating them. Second round of monthly samples. Uh, north booster station, um, Chlorine bleach injector needs repaired. He's adding some chemical uh, containment at the treatment plant and Kensington section three and four moving forward uh, and ongoing with water main install. Community engagement. Um, she was training with eGov and uh, working with the park department headshots, putting social media plans together for each department. She ordered business cards for DPW and wastewater and she's working on a one-page newsletter to send via email monthly with town updates and park programs. Uh, she hopes to have that started in January. And the police department, uh, that should be in your packets. Um, they've had an extremely interesting November. I'm going to leave it at that, Chief. Is that okay with you? Okay, thank you. That's all I have, sir. That's all you have? Yes, sir. Around the horn? Oh, I take that back. Oh, sorry. This Friday is our annual Christmas luncheon. I hope you all have the ability to attend. It starts at 1130 at the fairgrounds. Great, around the horn. Just want to uh, thank staff for an incredible year. Um, it's been great working with everybody throughout the, all, the year through different processes that we've had. 
that we've implemented. Um, it's been a great year, and uh, look forward to uh, more to come. Wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Well, I was thinking the similar thing that three, three of us up here are already two years into our four years, and it seems like even with everything going on, it's flown by. But I've had, I've enjoyed it. And thank you to the staff. We've had kind of a a good year, but we've had a challenging year too. So I appreciate everybody's hard work and dedication. I'd like to thank the staff also and all the department heads for a really good year. I've just been totally amazed at how everything has come together and and all the work has gotten done so thank you so much <laughs> um, exact same thing um, we don't always agree sometimes we agree to disagree but at the end of the day we're working for we need to schedule the year <laughs> so it's on the calendar right now to be Wednesday, December 29th, but I know that several of you have conflicts, and we're always under the gun to get everything done in a timely manner anyway. I think Mr. Leonard, good morning. Thank you Thursday morning, probably as late as 11. And like I, if we started at 10, maybe that would be good. I'm open as well. If we can make Wednesday night work, if that's better for you, um, I think we could get everything together and have it ready Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Either is fine with me. So the 29th or the 30th. Night time. Night time. I can call. I, I can call in. Okay. On either either of those dates, I can, I can call, call in. in. Our resolution. I'll be here either at night or in the morning. If we delay long enough, I'll get uh, the game time from my son. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the it's east of Indianapolis, so I won't be real close. So. What do you think? Daytime or night? Hang on. I just need three of you here. I was going to say, David, is that for Wednesday or Thursday? Oh, we're talking Wednesday, right? It's 29th? Yes, or Thursday morning, whichever is better. Thursday for morning would be perfect for me, but I don't want to. Yeah. I'm out of town. Oh, you're oh, gone. Okay. Either day, you're gone. Yeah. Okay. Tom Nancy, and Nancy, you guys are good on Thursday morning, yeah. right? Yes. Good anytime. Okay, I figured that. So, so Chris, Chris and I could. I'm okay. <laughs> I've called Tom at 7, and he's had to wake him up. <laughs> Earlier on Thursday, I'm, I'm up pretty early. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm good any time that morning. 9 a.m. Thursday, Thursday morning? December no, 30. too early. 9.30? 9.30? 10? 10? No, I can't, I can't do 11. <laughs> it, won't, it won't be a long meeting, right? No. So it'll be the encumbrances, right. the budget adjustments, and the final claim docket. Right. 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Thursday. December 30th at 10 a.m. December 30th, sure. 10 o'clock a.m. You three. Peg and Betty, I'll You're get right. up. I'm going as Chris. So as long as the you three, we only have three of us here. Correct. We're, okay. we're still good. All right, we done with that? That's Thursday, December 30th. And then I will have for you guys, um, I'll probably wait till you're all here, the first meeting of January, the final count for insurance, who went with which package, okay. so that you guys have that as well. You know, there were quite a few that went to the higher deductible plan, so I'll have that total for you. <coughs> and then um, Mark and I are working with the Redevelopment Commission. They're looking at purchasing a piece of property in January. So Just a fun reminder that your first meeting in January is your organizational meeting. Also, you'll have uh, have put together all your uh, board and commission appointments, candidates uh, for your appointments. Okay. Yeah, 
I'm the last one. Well, I've been here for a few years and I've learned a lot and I've really enjoyed working with you guys. I won't be up for president next year because I can't hear. Uh, my hearing is going down more and more. And as you can see, sometimes I don't hear what they're saying, especially in the gym. Uh, I'm okay with it, but uh, it, it doesn't do you guys well. If I hear people saying stuff, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to pull out of that and still be a councilman next year. Um, other than that, everybody's done such a good job. It's been an interesting few years. I uh, really appreciate working with everybody. And that's about all I have to say. Okay. Mr. President, um, I would make a motion to approve the claim docket. Second. Go. Everybody in favor? Aye. Aye. A motion to adjourn? Like a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meetings adjourned.